What's up, it's your boy Rhino. Back with another build. I don't like being on camera much, so you're probably not gonna see me right after this, but uh, let me show you what we got going. We got a Chrysler 300. Basically, we're gonna do a quick amp install. Kicker amp, two uh, 10 inch CVRs, custom enclosure. They have an amp already. Uh, snatching that out, running some new wires because I'm not sure what that, uh, where they got installed or what's going on with that. So I'm gonna get everything back fresh. Uh, right now, taking the measurements, the speakers require, I'm gonna do a sealed box on this one. Speakers require 0.8 to three cubes. The bigger the box, the less the amp needs to be, the water needs to be for the amp. Uh, we got a pretty high powered amp for this one. I think it's 1200 or 1600 for these speakers. So the amp's gonna be turned down probably halfway. Uh, I'm gonna do my max measurements where I think the box should sit, see how much cubes we have, and then go from there as far as the uh, airspace goes. Do I need to basically shrink it back or mainly shrink it back? That's all I'm, I plan on doing. The width, I'm gonna keep this probably about 30 inches. The height is looking about 14, I think. Before it starts getting to this 14 or 15 usually with the carpet <clears throat> and then i'll take my variable number with the depth and see how far it needs to come forward to get the right amount of airspace i'm looking for so stay tuned probably the box is going to be next and then also some some wiring once i peel this up all right this is the equipment we're going with <clears throat> Yeah, brand new, everything's brand new. This is the new kit. CBRs, 10 inch. Hit them with a double. Double the trouble. <clears throat> Pull this wire up out of here. amp kit so that's what we did so stay tuned power wire got to the remote not gonna lie i've done this before but once i figured out if they had this uh basically a fuse holder for the current fuse that it's got and then also for whatever you're running separate you could have a separate fuse that way if something happens with, with just equipment or whatever you're installing it blows out that one and doesn't affect your factory one that's in here so yeah good thing i checked that so i'm gonna go ahead and just pop the fuse in here and just rerun this i don't know i mean i got a whole new amp kit anyway so i'm gonna just rerun this wire with the fresh one. Doesn't look like anything's wrong with it, but why not? I love this sound. Literally cut up all the wood, got the back, the front, bottom, top, both sides. <clears throat> do some of uh, either some 45s or something with some bracing so I could do some bracing on the inside between the speakers um but yes this saw I just uh was able to get it the other day and let me tell you if you spend money on the equipment that you need is gonna make your job faster easier make that investment Seriously, because this thing is, I mean, changing the game. I literally cut all this up probably in less than 20 minutes, 30 minutes. 
Stay tuned, I'm about to put it together. I got the circle jig uh, that I just got as well. It circles out perfectly. So once I put this together, start tracking it together, I probably might make another clip, not, I don't know. Uh, but if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think. And uh, I'm gonna try to keep the videos coming. Try to get a little bit more detailed into them, you know, working on this 300, as you know. But yeah, so it's, uh, it's laid out here. I think there's only one other guy working over here with me. Well, working in the strip. So, gotta get it though. Stay tuned. I know, guys. Okay, so for the circle jig, basically get the diagram. For the speaker, 10 inch mounted cutouts, 9 and 3 sixteenths. For the circle jig, basically, uh, there's a little screw right here that I find the center of the box inside, I divide it in half and mark the corners <clears throat> and uh, find the center, boom. Put that screw in the center, I can use the circle jig, which got your inner, inner diameter, outer diameter. So if I want to loosen this up, I want it to be nine, I use the outer diameter one, nine and three sixteenths. I'm trying to get it to focus, but basically I have to count those little gashes to uh, get to the nine sixteenth mark. Put it on there, lock it in. Of course, uh, what I do with this type of setup that I have, uh, this is the lock on it. I open it up, I turn it on, and I don't have the right thing. I already lost the bit for it. So I've used it like twice, I've already lost the bit. But <clears throat> with this bit, similar, but it's not the right one. So it starts burning once it gets up to a certain point. And I just have to go ahead and just rip it. But uh, other than that, it works. I just need to go pick up another bit. So. What I do is I turn it on, I let the blade start spinning, I leave this open and let it drop down just a little bit to where it can start cutting the circle. And I lock it, spin it around, boom, get my circle. Right, so just like that, hole cuts out. Perfect the moon though. Well, hopefully, let me see. Oh, hey. See what I'm saying? It's got that foam on there, so. Yes. Come on now. Yes, indeed. Perfect, every time, every time. Cut the next one now and it's done. <clears throat> Sand it up a little bit, wrap it in carpet. In style, baby. You don't know what you did, eat to me. You Box is done. Pretty clean, sounds good. Don't deal. Got a little knot. Two 
routines. 